In this video, I'm going to share with you the skiing experience in Canada during COVID, as well as how to enjoy a hot pot for lunch while skiing. And lastly, we're going to share with you three tips on how to better prepare during the ski season. Remember to subscribe and like this video. For this ski trip, we actually flew over to Banff. If you're interested in seeing what the flying experience is like during COVID, check our other video. For this trip, we purchased our Mountain Collective Pass, which gives us two lift tickets at 23 destinations, five of which are in Canada. And you also get a bonus day at Norquay in Banff, which is not advertised on the site. The first day, we stayed at Lake Louise, and uh, we stayed to the backside because it was a little bit less icy. But as you can see, the snow was really good and there was actually quite a bit of people on the mountain. On day two, we went to Sunshine, which is about 20 minutes away from Bay. There wasn't too many people on the Thursday that we went, but you do have to take the gondola out all the way before you can start skiing, unlike Lake Louise. In the gondola, there are some rules that you need to follow uh, in order to maintain the health and safety during COVID. Because the snow condition was so good on Sunshine, we decided to come back on day three. It's not as sunny today, but the condition is still amazing. On day four, after a night of snow, we decided to go back to Lake Louise and it was such a beautiful day. This is our favorite run called Pinecone Way and it seems like you're going through a forest. It's beautiful. On all four days, we use our Mountain Collective Pass, which we bought for $503. So other than Lake Louise and Sunshine, it also has three other Canadian resorts that we mentioned earlier, in addition to other resorts around the world. Just buying the two lift tickets at Lake Louise and two at Sunshine will be exactly the same cost as the Mountain Collective Pass. We basically made our money back on Mountain Collective just with this trip, and that's how we bougie on the cheap. Let's talk about what we have for lunch during the ski days. Because of COVID, the cafeteria has limited seating, meaning you have to wait to get in, wait to get the food, and then wait to get seated. They haven't worked out the kinks for the operations just yet. So we decided to go outside and find a table and eat outside. And of course, we're eating our own self-heating instant hot pot that we bought from the grocery store. Step one, you put the noodles, the veggies, the spicy hot pot broth into the aluminum bowl. Then you add just enough water to cover the food. Step three, add the water to activate the self-heating pad and then put the aluminum bowl um, inside this bigger plastic bowl and then cover the lid and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's take a look at the clay pot rice with pork. This one is also self-heating. So step one, you wanna add the rice and the water in the aluminum bowl. The water they actually give you in the same package so you don't need to go and fetch your own. Then you wanna add the preserved meat on top of the rice. Next, add the self-heating pad in the plastic container and then again, add water to the line so that it can activate the agent and then you wanna close the lid and wait 10 to 15 minutes. A few minutes later. Be careful when you open the lid because it's steaming hot. And you can see on the left hand side is the hot pot with the noodle and the right hand side is the clay pot rice. For me, I like the rice more than the hot pot, but both are pretty good. Now that we've skied a couple days at the resort, there's a few tips we want to share with you guys. Tip number one, make sure to bring your own food and snack. Avoid a line like this to go and pick up food. Tip number two, bring a waterproof pad pack to put your food and your water in. I bought the one from Mountain Warehouse, which is super cheap, and it's also packable, which is perfect for traveling. But you can get one from anywhere. Just make sure that it is water resistant or waterproof. Tip number three, because of these precarious times, make sure to check out the ski resort's website before going. They would typically have some operational guidelines to set expectations for you, and sometimes they would require you to make reservations um, or purchase the ski pass before you're allowed to go. I hope this video is helpful in showing you what the ski experience is like during COVID. Happy skiing everyone, and thanks for watching. 
please remember to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.